Cuties and beauties, what is up and how are you doing? This is your favorite struggling R&B, your, your favorite struggling R&B producer. Soon not to be struggling, I hope. Uh, this is Valentine the Plug, and I'm happy to have you joining me. Scenery is a little bit different. I'm not using the colored lights and stuff like that. I'm just using regular sunlight. It's good for the melanin, you feel me? Cool. As per usual, we are rocking with a sample, and um, the way the sample is set up, I personally feel it's an amazing collab or it could be used as an amazing collab between Black and Summer Walker. So basically, it is a love renaissance type beat since that's the label that they both are signed to. I'm going to hit y'all up with the preview and then we are breaking down this beat and flipping it. You get me. Let's go. <laughs> Right, so how did this sample come to be? Uh, basically, I was just jamming during my guitar practice. You know, I try to practice at least half an hour a day. I, I'm picking up the slack. And uh, I played a couple of chords in succession, and to me, they sounded amazing. And I thought to myself, after labbing it out, you know what, let's turn this into a sample. So I'm starting off with a C major 7 chord. And I ended, of course, with a hammer on. Then I transitioned into this D major chord. Then I go to this E minor chord. A couple of hammer-ons, and then I land on this E minor seven chord, and I end on this B minor seven chord, and that's basically the chord progression. So C minor seven, D major, E minor seven, E minor, E minor seven. D minor 7. That's basically it. Alright, so here we are, touchdown into FL Studio. Let me just break down the chord progression uh, just a little bit more. So I took out uh, Contact, of course, my go-to VST for pianos. I took out The Gentleman, one of my go-to pianos within that VST. Turned down the soft knob a little bit just to make it sound softer. Turned down the velocity just a little bit too to make it sound even softer. Because I want my piano to be supplemental, I want it to sound soft and soothing. So I'm playing that C major 7 chord, but I inverted it just for a little bit of difference. Here you can see my D major chord of course, with some passing notes. Uh, here you can actually say I'm playing an uh, E minor 7 chord twice uh, because I decided to go for a little variation with the guitar. I also doubled the root note. Uh, again, the E minor 7 chord, and then it lands on an inverted D minor 7 chord. That's basically it. Um, now, one, two, three. Since I did pitch it up three semitones in the end, I went ahead and I took out a pad from Analog Lab. Um, Oh, wait, I'm actually going ahead. So here you see my piano, and the only thing I did to my piano was I added an EQ just to filter out a little bit of the low end, which I thought was interfering with the rest of the mix of the sample. However, I went ahead and I sent it to a reverb bus. I, I always use buses as opposed to inserts. And I decided to give my new VST little plate by Sound Toys, Confident in the Sale, a spin. And I also combined it with Crystallizer. Um, and what you get actually Crystallizer is a granular echo synthesizer, so basically it's it's kind of a very funky delay which you can customize to your liking for all kinds of weird and spacey effects. So what I did, I added a reverb onto my piano, I sidechained it to this bus and I faded, faded it in using this knob, and now it kind of sounds very cool. It's actually like the reverb is customized.
it really has a kind of tail end that's really vibrating. It's subtle. It's not supposed to, to draw any attention to it. But I really like that effect. So onto the pad. I took out my regular schmegler pad processing. Uh, let me play out a pad without processing and with processing. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm using the inquiring pad off of the you know standard uh, kit in Analog Lab 5. I'm not too key. I, I don't really see the point in, in keeping all of these banks and VCs from you since it's you know, open common knowledge. So this is the pad without processing. And if you hear it, you know, at, at first hearing, it's like, it's kind of like a trancey techno -y pad, you know, you would definitely, uh, I think this is definitely more heard in, in electronic genres, uh, dance genres, perhaps. So I added some filtering on top of that, an EQ, crystallizer, chorus, shaper box, and phases. And that kind of sounds like this. Now obviously the most defining element, the most apparent element is of course the EQ and the cuts I made. You're used to me seeing actually make a low pass cut around this range. I decided to open it up a bit more that a lot of those harmonics and high frequencies come through just for the sake of giving it more presence in the mix. Well then, I apologize in advance if I'm getting repetitive, but y'all know that the pad and the vocal sample are absolutely essential in these black uh, or love renaissance type beats since they are instrumental in creating that ambience, that vibe, that ethereal essence, that that spiritual awakening one that unlocks your... I'm bullshitting. Um, but it's very important, of course, for the sake of ambience to contribute to your vibe and your setting. So this is, once again, a channel that I'm using. First of all, I, I, um, I got the vocal samples off of Splice. I, uh, I went into the, um, of course, vocals. Um, I set it to male and I set the genre to trap and that's where I got these vocal samples from so you can explore that if you want Maybe you'll find some gems. So I rang it through my uh, uh, Auto-tune of course I set the key correctly after pitching it up Then there's my EQ of course since I want to filter out a lot of the brightness Raum of course for some reverb Replica of course for some delay and yes, I'm using them as inserts uh, compression, of course, attain the dynamics a little bit because all of these uh, sounds are exported in a mastered version, so they're very loud, and I just want to tame them a little bit. And crystallizer just to give it some more funky till end. This is what my vocals sound like right now, and after that, I'm going to play all the full sample. Beautiful, isn't it? All right, let's go slap some drums onto that baby. I'm actually going to do something that I haven't really done in a video before, but I am going to introduce um, two separate drum beats in this beat, and that is because I feel that Summer Walker has a very defined sound, with, and her drums are very, the drums that her producers use uh, are very much trap inspired. Whereas I think that Black is much less trap inspired and definitely has his own kind of drum bounce. He, he does well on hip hop beats, he does well on trap beats. I mean, the guy is an R&B dude with a hip hop heart, of course. Um, but for his singing songs, I feel that the drums aren't that easily categorized. So I'm gonna try and mesh that together. So I'm gonna probably work with two or three drum patterns and uh, I think the song will consist, get out of the way, the song will consist of me alternating between those two.
so I think we got an amazing basis for the part that I would consider to be the trappy part, not necessarily Summer Walker's part, because like I said, I think they can do both kind of drum beats well, but um, I'm going to just copy paste this. I think I actually need to drag it, thank you. And uh, I probably need to find a way to transition to that under drum beat as well, and I think that a transition effects, maybe a filter or a time stop may work, uh, but I'm gonna focus on getting that other drum beat right, so let me just get my drums in order. I actually made a deliberate decision here to have a more spaced out hi-hat pattern and I think I'm combining that with some spaced out drums as well. Uh, so I think that my snare should be put somewhere around here. I think it's kind of in uh Nah, whatever. I'm just gonna put my snare down. Hold on. Yeah, that definitely works. Okay, so let's, uh, let's build on this concept. So the question now is, am I going for a Reese bass? Uh, which I actually think I am. So I'm opening up Omnisphere to get me a Reese bass and I'm also opening up a instance of a uh, reactor 6 because I don't want to be playing that Reese bass all the time so no I'm not gonna be opening up reactor 6 instead I'm going for a sampler and I am loading my Reggie 808 because I want a very low and deep 808 actually to be playing mo for the most of the time during that black ish not Kenya Barris uh, drum pattern Okay, so we do need a way to uh, lead that switch up in. So I am going to take out DB Blue Tape Stop, which is actually a free Tape Stop plugin, which you can download off of Google if you look for it. Uh, what you mostly want to be automating is the trigger because that will determine when the actual Tape Stop is triggered. I'm going to turn down the slowdown now because I do want it. I don't want it to be an abrupt Tape Stop. I want it to be a more gradual Tape Stop. So uh, I am going to go to my automation clip in the players here. I think that I wanted to automate starting from here. I'm gonna create a nice little rectangle and I hope this does the trick. Hold on. Almost there, but not quite yet. Hold on. And this is just one way to lead in that that uh, switch up to the other beat. So I might just uh, I'm I'm gonna just look for another transition effect, maybe a riser perhaps or a reverse crash, uh, because I don't want it. I want I don't want to rely on the time stop too much. I think I did a video uh, detailing ways that you can uh, 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 let your listener know that they're heading into a different section of the beat and transition effects and tape stops or just silence is a way of doing that and I think I'm just going to try and apply a lot of those techniques. Of course adding another element to the existing element is another way to you know generate interest in your beat and let your listener know that they're in a different section. So I added an instance of crystallizer on my acoustic guitar which I fully intend to put on full blast during this part and let's see what that sounds like and this is just me saying use and abuse and explore automation because there's so much untapped potential there y'all just be relying on the melodies and the loops and the samples but when you really start to explore once you really have your toolkit of all the things you can use at any given situation you will never run out of ideas that i fucking guarantee you cool let's listen Wow, 
uh, all right, cuties. I think I went a little bit too far. I, I got really enthusiastic about arranging. Uh, I haven't even done a rough fader mix, but wow, this beat slaps. This beat slaps. And I love the idea of combining two different artists who are label mates with two fundamentally different styles and still meshing them together. I think that's an amazing challenge. And I think your boy did an amazing job at, at incorporating a beat that gives space to both artists and their respective styles. We've got some trap elements, we've got some dark, melancholic, alternative R&B elements in the beat. I think I'm gonna call that day at this because I struck gold. Okay, maybe I do need to turn off a little bit of the automation on that crystallizer no those the, them's the minor details of course uh but other than that we have a done beat and we have a done video so with that being said beautiful people as i am finishing this up um i hope you all enjoyed the video i hope y'all learned something i hope you were entertained and if not then I, at least i hope that i was a good waste of time for that matter with that being said i'm gonna see y'all in the next vid and y'all be easy peace